Welcome to a brand new video, so the pure beginning guide for God spells went well. If everybody has watched that and hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned from it a little bit, it re went really well. I have decided to start making more guides and just PKing in general just to help people out and to be honest encourage people to come out into the wild. So this one's going to be intermediate tricks for hybriding. Very simple, uh, but you still have to have at least 100 kills under your belt to really know when to use these. Even a little more, so if you guys have been killing bots or practicing on people out there in the wild uh, and you may want to try some of these, definitely, definitely practice them. These are the ones you can actually practice at like the Sea Wars portal, stuff like that, so you just get them right, get it tight. Uh, the reason why you want to have these tricks though is because I taught you rhythm or I guess, you know, I showed you rhythm, I showed you how to use your F keys properly uh, to maintain a fight. So once you have the rhythm down, this is how you secure the kill. You can go in for a DDS, which does work at least 80% of the time, but if you're fighting someone a little better or you want to get the kill faster, this is how you secure the kill once you have the rhythm. Uh, so hopefully this does help. Uh, there's not too many tricks, to be honest, that I know, uh, and I'm just giving them random names if, if you want. Uh, also, FYI, they're only going to work if you have... Uh, knowledge of your opponent so if you've been in a fight for a little bit and you know how he works do that then so you can kind of predict what he's gonna go for that's that's when you know it's gonna work sometimes it'll work right in the beginning if you rush one of these but more often you have to read your opponent in order to know if it's gonna work is he a decent Britter is he not gonna prayer switch very often is he camping range so that's a huge part of uh, just breeding in general so know your opponent and then see if one of these will work so let's jump right into the first one the fakey all right, shout outs to Atharn. He's one of my viewers that was in the CC. And right now I told him to defend against my attacks but not attack back because I just want to show you guys the moves in actuality. So what I'm going to do is simply put my Dragon Dagger on, follow him, and then switch to my range at the last moment, baiting his melee prayer, which is actually one of the reasons why Mika always beats me in a pure fight. He is very good at this. Let's give him one spec just to mess with him, dude, and then... Hit it with the range, coming for that, and look at that, it's a perfect way to do a fakey. It works really well if you do it with the Gmaw because it looks much bigger, as a Dragon Dagger is hard to see, but if you do the Gmaw they definitely know that you're going to go in for it. So, go into the Gmaw, boom, it's very obvious to see, do it one more time and it works again. So if you have a Gmaw it's a huge threat, great way to fake them out of the, uh, the melee prayer to the range and actually just going for the KO but I fucking hate the Gmaw so if you bring the Gmaw in the wild I hate you no I'm just kidding but it's a really good way to do the fakey very obvious to see it coming from a mile away okay so hopefully that was well enough endowed that you can practice the fakey very easily uh, one more time very easily all you do is you just run at him with the dagger and you swap to the range that is it. So let's give him some food and we'll test out another trick. I call this the double dragon dagger. It's going to work if you have two specs. So what happens is you're going to make an assumption or a base or a guess or whatever the fuck on whether this person's going to act and you're, you're just going to do the opposite. So when you go in for the dragon dagger you have a couple options. You can go for the range or you can go for another dragon dagger hit or you can go for the range or mage swap to the dragon dagger again faking him out depending on if he's really good uh, so you just kind of got to see how that goes, but make sure you know that these are options that you have. <laughs> you cheeky little bastard. Oh, he's, he's, he knows I want to go in for the Dragon Dagger spec. So, straight to the range, and straight to another Dragon Dagger. Oh, and we're going to double him because he's off his game. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, and we did that perfectly waiting for his shit, but we did not have another spec. I kind of want to finish him, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I get so into it that I want to kill him, but that was perfect. Did you see that? I just showed both ways to do it. I went from the dragon dagger to the range, and then back to the double dragon dagger because he's off his base. Reason that the double dragon dagger works a lot is not because they're going to be off their game, which happens sometimes, but because the people who purebred are so, so into, um... <laughs> he was not ready. Or so into camping the range prayer right after the melee because so, so many people go dragon dagger to range. So they'll just keep, they'll just automatically do that either instinct base or just, you know, experience. So what you're going to do is just going to go double DD. I've died to that actually. It's really embarrassing. So 
Uh, I, I'm sorry if this is a hard trick to kind of comprehend, but you're either going to go from Dragon Dagger to Rune Sivo or Double Dragon Dagger, or you're going to do the whole fakie where you go from Dragon Dagger swap to either Mage or Range and then Dragon Dagger, but don't use that in between combo. I, it's hard to explain, really. I think I showed you this well enough, but it, 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 yeah, I am so sorry. I, hopefully that came across well. Definitely learn it because. Uh, a lot of those times the Dragon Dagger won't finish them off and that will just help you push to get that final kill if you just if you just combo it right. So, I, I like that. That was perfect. Before we get on, apparently he wanted a shout out to uh, Rachel. Go hi Rachel, if you got a Snapchat. Um, <laughs> but this one doesn't really have a move and it's commonly used in Edgeville, but in order to bring it to the hybriding game, it does take some skill and practice. So that's why I'm putting it in the intermediate guide. Uh, the double spec weapon. So I would use claws to Gmall, but my main has the claws and I cannot be ass getting them back. So we're going to use Debo to uh, Debo to Gmall. So let me see if I can pull this off on this guy here. So let's put the these on here because I just got to believe in myself. He's laughing at me. Ooh. beautiful if that would have hit that would have been perfect so as I timed that extremely well which is really hard because he's not attacking me back so that means he only has to really do prayer switches so if you have your friend do this you're actually gonna get really good because the people attacking you back they're not gonna be worried about prayer switches they're gonna be worried about killing you so what you're gonna want to do is just practice the double spec combo you got D-Claws, G-Maw, pretty much anything in uh, G-Maw. One of my favorites is DDS to G-Maw. I did the Dark Bow just because it is uh, it is a little harder to do. You have to really get them uh, on two different prayers at the same time. I will beat your ass. But uh, if you guys ever want to go check out me doing this in a PK video, the first time I ever used Claws, my phone's going off, sorry. The first time I ever used Claws, my first five fights on my pier, I won in a matter of five seconds on that video. I'll try to find it, I'll link it down in the, just, no, I'll link, I'll put it in the end of the video. Uh, but it's a really powerful way to just kind of get kills very quick. This video is probably the more advanced intermediate trick. It could even be an advanced trick. I learned it from Amenity and his videos. It's actually pretty good. It's called the Devil Fakey. So the premise of this is, Whatever gear you're wearing, you're going to swap into the opposite. So say you're mage, you're going to go into range. Not attack, go back in the mage. Have your protect prayer or your, uh, your bonus prayers on and then go for the dragon spec. Uh, you've probably seen this in a bunch of videos. It's actually a pretty dope uh, way to get a kill. It looks amazing. I've done this a couple times, but it's actually really hard to do mid-fight. Unless you're extremely good at clicking, and I'm not. So let's try it out. This will make it a little more realistic if I go for the double fakey. Ah, oh, see, I went for it right there, but it was a little too fast. Here. So the first thing you want to do on a fakey is before you go for it, you know you're going to go for it, put your protect prayers on, or your, sorry, your bonus prayers on, so you can hit as high as you can with the dragon dagger. Now, looking back at this recording, I ended it off with a single fakey, I guess. I didn't go over it. It's where you only switch to one body armor set and then go for the spec anyways. Uh, a lot simpler version of the double fakie, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just making these names up as I go. But uh, yeah, right there you could see I go in to the mage gear setup, so it looks like I'm going to mage, but then I whip out my DDS, which is pretty much uh, the fake that we started at the front, but just a different version of it. So I kind of failed the double fakie other than this beginning clip to where it actually shows me going for it, but I don't end up getting a kill. So. I would go back out there, but I'd have to invite them all out there to get a kill with it, and I think you guys understand the point that we don't have to get a kill to show you how this works. It's extremely awesome to do, so if you have, if you ever do one of these in the fight and you get a kill using it, uh, the double fake, it feels amazing. It is so good. And let's move on to our final trick. Final trick that I could really think of is going to be uh, walling, treeing. I uh, didn't really want, know if I wanted to go over this, but it is an intermediate trick. I mean, beginners could do it, but they fucking suck at it. If you're walling someone, I would recommend you bring TV, because if I'm getting walled and I'm not frozen, I'm teleporting out. So, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it really simple. So, first off, you're going to hopefully, if you're using regular magics, take them off that prayer. So, we're going to slap them a little bit. So he's decent at prayer swapping, so I'm sure you do that. And then just sit behind the tree. Sit behind the tree, so you're just going to click on him and then click back. 
It, you don't have to be fast about it. Just take your time. Make sure your prayer swaps are okay. See? Take my time. Can hit through his prayer. Nothing he can do about it. Unless he gets a freeze. That was a little fast. Just sit behind the wall. And if you want, you could even run across the other side here. Because he's going to be trying to freeze you. Now, I hate people who wall. But if you're low and you're getting teamed, I actually wall people if they're teaming me. And it helps me out in a lot of fights. So it's something good to know. Especially if you're trying to get out of a debacle here. And we're going to try to kill my friend, dude. Go for a fagy. Beautiful, but we didn't hit anything. This should be a kill. There we go. GG. No, dude, thank you, man. Obviously, I told him about the fight back because if he was using barrage on me and he got one thing, then I couldn't show you guys how to wall properly because it works a lot better with barrage. Um, I'm going to loot my dragon bolts. Look at the blood runes. Oh, shit, I'll give them back. I'm going to probably pay these guys who helped me out. Shout outs to uh, Rome and Athene. I'll give them some monies, dude. Uh, so on, bro. Dude, no, you were doing an amazing job, man. Trust me, trust me. I've I've walled people that were teaming me, and they don't even swap out a range prayer. So take all these tricks, practice them. They're probably already well known. It's just that's how you do them for the most part. Uh, if you have any tips or tricks of your own, put them down below. Try to describe them. So because I'm still learning, of course, I'm still really bad, super bad. As you can see, I failed a lot of these tricks just on people prayer swapping. But it's actually super hard if they're just prayer swapping. Um. Either way, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not going to make an intermediate PKing guide. That's a little too much. I don't know if you guys want that. But I did thought, I did think that if those who came from the beginning guide wanted to learn some tricks on uh, on just how to get a kill after gaining the rhythm, then, then that would work out very well. So hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, definitely practice with your friends. If you fight me and you pull a trick out on me, I'm going to cry, but I'm, I'm going to be proud at the same time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more. I do upload a lot, and I will see you in the next episode. I don't know what you want. Let's have a